I went to Queensland as a kid, said Pangai at the time. I used to live in Newcastle my brother Moses Pangai was with the Cowboys and I was trying say my family, let's move Queensland try play for Queensland. He admitted how silly these comments were during the week. Pressure builds on Swali the Roosters have requested it be made public that they believe Rugby Australia has the money to take Joseph Swali away next season. This may be why the story leaked that they were considering releasing him early. The club's latest approach to Jason Riles must have strained the young superstar. On Monday, the Roosters were ready to let him go, as they did not like the distraction of Riles' negotiations with St George Illawarra. Club great Jake Friend was appointed assistant coach to Trent Robinson, replacing Riles. Will Joseph Swali see his contract in Rooster? Credits Riles got angry. He hasn't missed beat at his current job, and Cameron Seraldo showed last year by helping the Panthers win second championship after signing to join the Bulldogs in 2023 that you can win competition and prepare for new club. What the Roosters' approach to Riles shows is that they have no desire to be distracted during a difficult season. Riles became a sideshow, while Swali became the main event after signing a big deal to play rugby from 2025. If Rooster season continues to slide they are in 11th place on ladder this weekend 700,000 payable next season will be seen as money that could be spent on a long-term player at club, as determined by Swalee. Rookie at heart Blue Hudson Young has many people to thank for his origin debut, but none other than Val and his grandfather Val and Terry. Young missed the 2019 grand finale after being suspended by gouging twice that season. He was also banned 18 months for accidentally ingesting an illegal substance while playing SG Ball the Knights. He almost succeeded in spite of himself. To be honest, I probably wouldn't have changed much, Young said. But he knows who is there for him in difficult times. My mom and dad were very important to me, she said. When I was seven or eight years old, when my parents separated, I moved in with them. They took me to every game. Having five brothers was tough so my mom could go and watch everyone. They stood in my corner and are still there today. Still, he said it was highly unlikely that they would make the trip to Adelaide. They are going yell at the TV screen, they are going to tell me do something, yeah, I can't wait, she said. Streets ahead Brad Fittler, ISNT looking for any limelight for his good work outside of football, but the people who run Streetside Medics in Sydney are praising him right away. Fittler took the Blues team out to the streets for charity on Tuesday night. What ISNT so well publicised is that Fittler and his wife, Marie, are regulars, and most Monday nights, streetside medics help provide medical care to the homeless. Freddie often recruits high.